All right, so we're going to have 21 overwhelm damage coming on in. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Siver Katarina. This was a deck from a viewer on YouTube that said that they've been playing this one and having a lot of fun with it. And I always like a good Katarina deck. Uh, I enjoy playing Katarina decks for sure. So I wanted to go ahead and give it a try. So uh, that's going to be our other champion that we're pairing with Siver. It's going to be this Katarina. And it's, you know, three mana, three, two, quick attack. When it strikes once, it levels up and you recall it. All right, so it levels up immediately once it strikes. So it's a very, very easy champion to level up. And the, the uh, point of that is, is that we're going to be combining that with Voice of the Risen. So we have two Voice of the Risens in here. That if we've leveled a champion, all of our allies have plus two, plus zero. Pretty good little card there. Makes everything hit even harder than normal. Um, and so then, especially with the Voice of the Risen, it's going to be very easy to turn on Reputation. And also just very easy to do a lot of damage to level up the Sivir. Um, and the Reputation is important for the, because then we're going to play two Black Rose Spy in here. So Black Rose Spy, you know, will be able to transform into the exact copy of the strongest ally that has struck this round. So that could be getting us another Sivir or another Ruin Runner. Um, you know, like if we, we can have like, even if we have both of those in play, we, we can have like Kato the arm, like support, like a Sivir to make it bigger. Um, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, so maybe we can like attack with like Sivir, Ruin Runner or whatever, do a bunch of damage. And then after attacks, we can Black Rose Spy with the reputation, you know, transform it into, you know, whatever the Sivir or the Ruin Runner or something like that. And then we, uh, Katarina rally, get to attack again that round. That could be pretty powerful. So that's kind of what our deck is. And then we have just kind of the, the broken Shreema cards, the Fantastic Four that we've talked about, Treasure Seeker, Merciless Hunter, Sivir, Ruin Runner. Those four are all incredible. Um, we got good uh, combat tricks. We got like some Shape Stones in here, Exhaust, I love Exhaust with both Sivir and Katarina because we have these quick attack champions. So like, like Katarina, for example, you play this immediately, you attack with it, they just don't block it. They just take their three, right? But if you can pair it with an Exhaust, you can use it to kill something on round three. That's usually pretty powerful. A couple of Ancient Hourglasses for protection. We got some Scorched Earths and Culling Strikes for some removal. And that's basically the whole deck. Some Whisper Words and Preservarian for card advantage. So looks like an interesting one. Ooh, Siphoning strike, also a great removal spell. Uh, give you know another way to buff up our champions. So this will be interesting to try out. So Sivir, Katarina, let's go play our five games. Uh, we got Yasuo Swain. Yeah, we're talking about um, doing yeah some like variety games, especially the or like there's like a new like League of Legends, like RPG kind of game. That's, I think, that's kind of like a Final Fantasy type game, but it's like with, with like these same characters. I don't know when that's coming out, but that is something later on in the year I, I want to implement and do more variety stuff. So I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and mulligan Katarina. I don't, I don't love mulliganing champions, but Katarina's the kind of champion that isn't really like a three mana champion. I know it says that it's three mana, but it's not really one that you usually want to play immediately on round three. It's one that it's your late game champion that's your late game mana sink. So I wanted to find earlier stuff. And I'm gonna take this exhaust. The exhaust is one mana and good interaction for one mana. How to handle a horror game? Um, I get scared very, very easily. I do like the Resident Evil games, and those are kind of horror games, but I, I do get scared super easily. I don't know if I want to just use Merciless Hunt. I don't know if I want to trade Merciless Hunter for Rear Guard. Let the bloodshed begin. Maybe I'll play this Katarina to go along with the exhaust. <laughs> no one's the wiser. Wow, really? 
They played Legion Saboteur into into this Blade's Edge. It's just an egg. That's surprising. That does mean that I don't want to just attack and because honestly, I'd rather have the Katarina in play than because it looks like they're if, like these cards that they're playing. They look very aggressive, and so I'd kind of rather just have the Katarina in play than. Um, and yeah, I guess I'm gonna have Katarina trade with the Legion rear guard. I know I don't. It's not fantastic, but I think that's better than me dying, and I'm worried about me dying. You've got a problem. I've got a price. Okay, ready. Without mercy. <laughs> Definitely worried about me dying with they seem to be pretty aggressive. Business as usual. They did the wrong order, didn't they? Oh, they still get the 3-2. I do like the looks of like super aggro Yasuo, like because you know like Yasuo does have like the quick attack and everything, and so playing all these aggressive units to go along with Yasuo that is a nice pairing. Basically making it where they can't really just get a free attack in with the Yasuo. Or they can't really attack within at all. Okay, ready. The dragon lives. Still just doing the one with the spell shield. I know that it would, it would be better to have the Merciless Hunter trade with Yasuo, but I'm just still just going with the spell shield. 27 out of 30. Almost there. Three out of four, almost there. Um, I kind of like the Black Crow Spy, though. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. <laughs> Black Crow Spy will give me another Sivir. So they attacked in the wrong order. The 6-6 six -six has to go first. Since it's later, now my Sivir levels up and now my Sivir can trade with it. Skip. Can always rely on you to keep us safe. Voices carry. Two mana Sivir? All right, GG's. I know I could have open attacked, but I also had voice, like, especially drawing that Treasure Seeker, how I was going to have, like, the voice of the Risen plus Treasure Seeker plus the for. other thing that Treasure Seeker makes is just, you know, we just play all that. Yeah, we're going Katarina, Voice of the Risen combo. Yeah, so that's what we got the Voice of the Risen to go along with the Katarina. 
it's super easy to level up. Man, this is a good hand. I'm going to have to mulligan the Preservarium because I'm going to be curving out 2, 3, 4 like that. Um, I, we're playing against Thralls. I got two Scorched Earths in here. So we're going to be using these Predict, looking for a Scorched Earth. Not Scorched Earth. I will skip. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. See what I've learned? Morning Tea Time says... I mean, I'm just gonna call extract this. I'm just talking crazy meme, but is there an all Demacia Allegiance deck that could run three Voice of the Risen? What champion are you thinking about with Demacia? It could certainly help. You've got a problem, I've um, got a price. Business as usual. You know, it could help. You know, Demacia, like with just how like they can go wide and everything and you know get some big bodies out there. All that stuff can definitely help. All right, now I need to find Scorched Earth. Garen Jarvan Elite. Oh, they're about to get this Frozen Thrall. I don't like it. Them having Frozen Thrall, that is. Point the way, and I'll make the way. Well, I guess it's better for me to just go Ruin Runner. Kato? Kato. Who gets tossed? Ugh. Well, thralls are busted. Let the bloodshed begin. I don't know if this is worth it. It's probably worth it. I'm playing the exhaust, I just don't really know how or where. I think we do this and try to keep the Kato alive. Die, kill. I think their plan is just go Frostbite. Like if I go Blade's Edge right here, they, they just Frostbite like they're just trying to set that up. It's very possible. If not likely. What will you have? Okay, maybe not. Or maybe so. Definitely wish I would could have had you know my other Blades Edge kill the other Frozen Thrall. That was my plan. Plans don't always work though. I would not want to be you. Okay. So this is a Frostbite card right here, so they do have one. Unfortunately. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. I like our I like where this is headed though. No, <laughs> never mind. 
Oh man, what a killer. I liked where this was headed before that. It's just a nick. Because I was going to have my leveled up Katarina. I was going to play Ruin Runner right here. I was going to have my leveled up Katarina. Uh, I was going to strike them with Ruin Runner and then copy Ruin Runner with the Black Rose Spy and then play Katarina and rally again. We know the middle card's the Frostbite card. Voices carry. Gonna find a gift for an Ecton! Right, Arda? No, the exact copy doesn't permanent shape stone. Uh, it does because it does see like the you know plus three plus one this round, and so it would copy like the plus three plus one this round. It wouldn't permanent copy. That. Okay, so they have a lot of frostbite in hand. Could have been going for the plus three plus four though. Huh. Well, I'm gonna pass right now because they got a fleeting card right here. Did they choose the wrong card with the three sisters and then and then rage quit? Huh, they had flash freeze. What was the card they chose? Realize maybe they forgot that my Rune Runner had Spell Shield. Turn it like so. That's what it looks like, but I'll take the win. 2 and 0 oh for Silver Katarina. GG's. Okay, Diana Leona. Let's see what we got. Not necessarily a bad hand. Like Shape Zone. So it's okay, so it's all Targon. Okay. I do like the Siphoning Strike with Ruin Runner. I'm going to keep it because those are like really fun cards to play. The Daybreak Nightfall deck. Looks like mostly Daybreak. Most likely. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. We got a kind of expensive hand. I'm gonna just take the one mana treasure seeker. And I'm feeling pretty glad that I took that one mana treasure seeker right now. Get another thing that can be on the board. I know Katarina. Again, Katarina, we need just late game. We don't need it right away up, but I know that we would have the possibility of having it have the plus two, plus two. But they're most likely like a three hush deck. Their scent travels on the night air. Most likely. We love it when they run! This one's a fighter! That's why I gave the 2 2 vulnerable. I figured they, they would be attacking with that thing. Gently, gently. <laughs> and Treasure Seeker is a summon, also? Wow. Man, that card's good. Got it. See what I've learned? You 
cannot hold us down. It's a trap. Keeping my spell mana. So this is the card that the Heavens Align created. Not a bad one. First light illuminates the land. The sun's splendor reveals. Sand and trouble far as the eye can see. It's a lot more likely to kill the Crescent Guardian than the, than the Leona. I guess neither is very likely. Should've played my Katarina first and got a Blade's Edge. I just wasn't even thinking about Bastion. Didn't even consider Bastion. That's probably my bad. Four overwhelm was also scary on their side. To shine like the sun, you must burn like it. This is a good game. This is going to be really close. I could see this going either way. Treasure Seeker is so good. These five twos are incredible. Whoa. Okay. So that actually kind of works for me with those things being silenced and or stunned. Considering like it's so like this thing's silent, so it's not ephemeral this round, so it's gonna come back next round. That like kind of works for me. I guess the whispered words will be a two mana draw two. Um, let's see, we got eight mana next round. If I want to play Katarina and replay Katarina, that would be seven mana. Then I'd be left with two this mana, so I'd be left with like two mana whisper words or hourglass. Okay. Always rely on you to keep us safe. I don't know if I need that whisper words though. I don't know if I should be looking for something else. Never play fake. Sunlight burns in our weapons. I hope they get two stuns. Stuns that. Attacking with Kato. Violet solves everything. The Sivir needs one more damage to level up. Blade's Edge does one damage. I feel like that was, uh, you know, well designed. Yes, core deck, yep. The YT here means this deck is from a, a viewer on YouTube. What time is it? 
And yeah, haven't haven't had any Poro donation decks, and just kind of doing a bunch of donation decks and stuff. We'll get to Poros. Y'all know I enjoy playing a Poro decks. The sun's splendor reveals. I haven't quite gotten there yet. No going back. You need to have them stop stunning everything. A blade forged with blessed sunlight. I guess this is game over. Yeah, I guess it's game over. GG's. Was that Zen? No, that Zen's play was just in their hand. Definitely don't feel like I should have lost this game. Don't know exactly where it all went wrong, though. Taking this Whisper Words was a bad idea. Yeah, I don't know where it all went wrong, but I don't think I should have lost this game. Alright, well, that's too bad. I'm sorry about that. Alright, we, we are 2-1. and one. GG's opponent. Leona look good. Okay, we got Soraka Vladimir. I like inspiring Aspiring Chronomancer quite a bit. I'm perfectly fine playing a Chronomancer round two and round three, so let's go ahead and uh, keep two of them. Oh. Okay, yeah, just we haven't played the new Poro card. Yes, correct, yeah. That's the thing is... Yeah, there's... Yeah, that, there's just... With doing all the donation decks, it's hard to get to all the new cards, right? Yeah, there's there's that. There's, like, the the Starlet Epiphany card. There's definitely other cards that I want to get to, but we haven't been able to yet. I'm just gonna skip. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. I love a taste of the ocean. Yeah, Poros are pretty good. They're kind of like the new elusive swarm deck that people are playing. So basically because of Pale Cascade, you need a challenge with this thing um, instead of the Chronomancer. I think they have Pale Cascade or Guiding Touch. Alright, and it's Transfusion. Yeah, I figured they had something like that. Does seem like we have maybe like too much card draw in here, like too much top end, considering we are already. What is this? Sorry, uh, considering that we are already um, a Katarina deck, that like Katarina already takes up so much mana in the late game. But then also having like Whisper Words, Preservarium. It's hard to have the mana for all this stuff. No going back. Kordak, have you been trying to tell me that you donated a Poro deck to pl to get played on stream? Because I don't I don't know of that. So saying I don't. Know. So this does allow them to use like Guiding Touch and different healing cards, and so I guess I should have played the Blade's Edge during combat. Yeah, but at least you know, let's let's get the Guiding Touch out of their hands. But yeah, I guess I should have used that Blade's Edge during combat because of that, and forced them to use like a Pill Cascade. You know, limit their options of ways to save Soraka. You and when you have time, I'll think about it. I don't think they're going to be able to do anything about this with just three mana. Awesome. 
right, we got 6-5 Katarina now. Oh, the list is in the card, the Bilgewater card named the list. Yes, I <laughs> I don't like that card name because, yeah, whenever you say, when you talk about the list, I think about like a deck list. Um, but yes, I was I was very glad to play that that Bilgewater card, though, the with the Sivir Renekton deck, and it looked really good. I really liked how it was zero mana it gives something vulnerable. It did look very good. Let's take the Scorch Earth to blow up the Star Spring. You know, taking Ruin Runner was pretty appealing as well. Or we basically have an even board. Before they played that, I was going to say we had an even board, same amount of cards in hand. This works. Man. Hush strikes again. Ah. I guess I don't have a reputation. I got pretty excited about that Black Rose Fire there for a second of, of thinking that I missed out on like a cool Katarina. Madeer. Star Spring's only at three. If we don't damage anything. <laughs> Alright, now I feel, feel pretty good now. I, oh, I love all these one mana spells. Definitely glad we got all these one-mana spells. Yeah, we've been getting bastioned pretty good uh, during these last couple of games. It's just blood, Doc. So just two cards in hand? Is this gr too greedy? Almost absolutely. But I'm still gonna do it. Just two cards. Hey, card. That was like the only card that I couldn't quite deal with. Ugh. I guess it was too greedy. Fight. That was like the only card. Alright, so we're going to have 21 Overwhelm damage coming on in. Can be undone. That's a lot of Overwhelm. Looks like our Ruin Runners may be ruining their day. Alright, yep, Ruin Runners getting it done. 
two and two. No, three and one. Wow, even better. We're great, three and one. All right, we got some sea monsters. All right, we got the attack token round one, round three. Let's send this back, Jack. Uh, actually, I don't know if we want to send that back. Okay, so if we go Hunter on three, Sivir on four, Ruin Runner on five. I don't know, maybe I want Cypher. No, we'll send it back. Hoping to find something to play on two, which I guess could be mana for Hourglass. I don't think Preservarium is a good round two play. Like I'd rather have the mana for Hourglass than play Preservarium. I guess we just get a four-three for some. I don't want to pass, and they pass again. Like I, I don't really want to pass here. Yeah, these just probably trade like they would have before. There we go. Huh. Let's go with... Simmer. All that glitters is mine. This one's a fighter! Alright, so they're back... To uh, twenty, but if they would have just blocked the first time, I would have dealt four less damage. So we got, you know, we're at eight out of thirty instead of four out of thirty. Gonna be thirteen. All right, and they're four away from deep. We are nine away from silver level. It's gonna be a pretty close game. Courage. Should be a pretty close game. Give me the stuff. Stuff make happy. <laughs> All right, so they're leveled up there now. What's behind this door? You think? Deadly traps, angry guardians, bunch of gold. Ooh. That's a surprise. Was it expecting that? Are they gonna vile feast? No. They would have of course they would have the shapes down. I'm going to have you have vulnerable. Artists gonna make a meal of them. And now living. Okay. We need nine more to level up. I guess. So thinking like these two can do nine damage, right? Nine more to level up. We'll see. Good chance that I should be. He's alive at four. Oh, I oh, no 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 no! I need to do that on the treasure seeker. Oh, because of Vile Feast, I need to do that on the Treasure Seeker. But I guess Vile Feast, they stay alive anyway, because they heal their Nexus 1. 
Alright, well, that'll do. And so basically the Sivir levels up and now has the Overwhelm, so now the Overwhelm 2 damage. Uh, the Treasure Seeker now has Overwhelm, and so that 2 damage goes over here. GG's. That was a pretty cool little interaction. The real treasure is friendship. Nah, it's the gold. Another 4-1. 4-1 Tuesday. All right, so pretty fun little Katarina Sivir deck. I, you know, we really just kind of won the games on just the strength of the Fantastic Four. You know, the Ruin Runner, the Sivir, Merciless Hunter, Treasure Seeker. But Katarina was really cool. Got to do a little bit of cool stuff with Katarina. Didn't get to really show off Voice of the Risen with Katarina. Because, you know, there's only the two of them. So it just didn't happen too often. But that's okay. And our Kato was really, really good with Sivir, Ruin Runner, like that kind of stuff. Just... Kato's a really strong card. So yeah, lots of good stuff going on here. Lots of good stuff. Black Rose Spy also was pretty good. We got to show off Black Rose Spy a couple of times. We got to make a Sivir one game. We got to make a Ruin Runner another game. Um, yeah, so Black Rose Spy, I got to show off that one. All right, so there we go. So that's going to be Sivir Cantarina. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments about the deck. Uh, hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Uh, as far as any kind of changes, I could definitely see playing uh, Rockhopper, right? Like, Rockhopper just kind of fits in with, like, these other things that want to have the vulnerable and everything. Like, I'm not a huge Culling Strike fan. For example, like, the Culling Strikes could go, and I think the Whisper Words honestly could probably go. And that could get you some Rockhoppers, and maybe you just play the other Preservarium. You know, so you only take out one card, draw a card. But we saw that, like, we have so much uh, late-game mana... Um, like, the, like, the Katarina takes up a lot of mana in the late game, and so you don't need, like, that much extra card draw and stuff. So, you know, Rock Hoppers are just kind of fit in the curve also with the Chronomancer. Like, if you don't have Chronomancer, you can have, like, the Rock Hoppers that then help enable a lot of other cards. I could see you doing that. But I liked it. It was good. And that's it here for Sivir Katarina. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.